To fly a rocket ship, you need to be an optimist. No astronaut launches for space with their fingers crossed. That's not how we deal with risk. What I learned from 21 years as an astronaut is that the more you know, the less you fear. The reason I wanted to do this masterclass is to share the hidden depths of purpose that are behind space exploration. When the clock hits zero, start focusing in, thinking of nothing else but the moment that you're in. Study every system on a spaceship and then boil it down to what I call a one-pager. You've got to be able to solve your problems in one breath. You have to push your lungs forward through the drag of the atmosphere. Crushed into your chair, you're like a leaf in a hurricane. The reason is one half rho v squared s. 16 times the speed of sound as you accelerate harder and harder, that light blue Florida sky starts to get darker and darker, and then suddenly black. And the engine shut off, and you're weightless. Turn the handle and open the hatch. You pull yourself out into the universe, and now suddenly, when you move your knees, you can feel the searing heat of the sun on one side and the incredibly cold emptiness of space on the other. When you're no longer Earthlings, how do you navigate? You can use the stars. You can actually see how that place where you were raised fits into the overall complexity and reality of the solar system. You start to unavoidably wonder, are we alone in the universe? or not. Our technology is just good enough now that some of you taking this masterclass are going to fly in space. Reusable rocket ships give us access to explore like we've never had before. It will be a great moment of introspection for humanity if you're the person who finds that one little fossilized flower on Mars. I'm Chris Hadfield, and this is my masterclass.